Blaine, that was certainly an exciting game to watch from the balcony. What was it like to play in? Um, yeah, it's a bit hectic at times. I think we had lots of the ball, but um, the way they were playing sort of manned up, it's hard to get away from your man and to keep doing it all the way to the end is a bit tough, but um, credit to the boys, we kept going and we ended up winning the game, which is may maybe we wouldn't have won that last year. So I think we're in a good place at the minute, winning games like that. Sometimes you can't always have it your way. Credit to them, they've worked their nuts off, haven't they, to get near us all game, man marked, and we didn't have many answers for it really, but um, to win the game like in that fashion is always a good way to win, but obviously we've, not, we've got to be better, we've got to be better, especially at home. And it's not often that TNS goes behind once, but certainly twice, but it does show character from the side to, to bounce back. Yeah, definitely. I think, like I just said, touched on there, I think last season we drew too many of those games or even lost them. Um, and I think when, when you're in the position, position that we're in and other teams are watching on dying for us to drop points and then you're winning like that, it's, it takes the stuffing out of other teams as well. So I think even even when we're a little bit depleted, when we've got players out, we've still got, we've still got the heart and desire to go on and win, win football matches like that. And full credit to Averford West County, they did come with a game plan that almost worked for them. Yeah, they did, definitely, yeah. I think they chased us around all 90 minutes like fit lads. Done. I thought uh, I thought they were excellent, to be fair. Um, some teams you see come here have just come up and they put sort of 11 men behind the ball and then it's just like attack versus defence. But yeah, they caused us a few problems and um, it's, it's enjoyable to play in, really. I mean, it probably wouldn't have been as enjoyable if we'd have dropped drop points, do you know what I mean? But, wins a win in it and you were involved in the uh, second equalizer because you got a touch but it was credited in the end as an own goal yeah I definitely didn't touch it I was borderline foul for me but got to be in there and I think Mazda's put some great balls in even in the last few weeks when I've been close but I think even last weekend I've been close but um, wasn't wasn't getting on the end of them and, and people were blocking them people were getting near me and, it, and it's frustrating but um, when Maz puts balls in like that, like you're going to score from some of them. Uh, his, his quality from wide free kicks especially is outstanding, I think. And in the dying minutes of the game, you did spend probably more time in their penalty area than our yeah. own, and he paid off. Yeah, I was trying to get trying to get higher up pitch. I mean, they were trying to close it off down the left, and I felt that I had loads of space, so I um, played a little one-two, and I was getting out, and then sort of just taking it upon myself to stay up there if, if no one's up uh, the other way. And... I was waiting for Leo to cross it to be fair and I was shouting at him to cross it and I knew he was going to shoot in the end and then it just fell to me, I thought I'd miss but... And a massive three points in the end because we're now five points clear at the top of the table. Yeah, massive. That, that's what we said before the game, just make sure you win the game. Just make sure you win it. No games in hand now, five points clear and uh, go into two weeks time now.